I'm 17 years old and it's almost been one year since we found out uh, I had cancer. Um, what I've learned, uh, some meaning of life. <laughs> if you see child here, they are sleeping like a month and a, and a half here and so you kind of know that just your just your little pain in your knee it's nothing compared to what we have here did a lot of sports uh, baseball hockey and uh, I would like to play for fun with friends so I'm gonna keep doing that but yeah, in the competition level, it's it's over. My plan was to be a five fighter, but uh, obviously with the surgery of my leg, I uh, can't do it anymore. Um, but there's so much choice, but you got to find the right one. Uh, well, at first when he had the... Uh... Um, a pain in his knee we thought it was a sprain and the orthopedist that saw him thought it was a, a sprain too but then he would not get better and not get better and after six weeks they decided to uh, prescribe an, R an IRM and so that's when we found out like maybe four days later that it was a tumor or they had also the hypothesis that it was an infection a bone infection but then when they did the biopsy for uh, five days I think after the uh, IRM, they found out it was an osteosarcoma. We were uh, welcome here uh, very, very fast, and we met with uh, the orthopedist uh, very, very fast, and they set up the uh, the chemo treatment right away, like the week after, so we, all, we started all that. And uh, it was a big shock, like very foggy. You don't know where you're going, and you're just like following what they're telling you to do. Um, we had great support from our social worker, Dina, which was very, very nice with us. So she helped us a lot going through that. And then in February, we had to have the big surgery where they uh, removed the entire femur. And uh, that was hard because he had to learn how to walk again. So, um, and he had a lot of pain that uh, met, like with the medication, it, he, they were able to lower it, but still he had like a lot of uh, different pains in his knee and his foot. And so that was hard to see him that because we felt very powerless. We couldn't do anything. So that was very hard. And then after that, he had two more surgeries with uh, his lungs because he had, uh, they had seen some things in the, on the scan that were maybe some other tumors that had spread. So um, he had to have them removed. So that was two more surgery uh, on one month. And then after that, we had to start chemo again. And so uh, we've been uh, in the chemo since uh, April, uh, mid-April now. So uh, in the beginning, we, it was supposed to be over at mid-July, but then, you know, with little uh, complications and all that, now we're here at the <laughs> September 20th and almost done, uh, maybe probably today or tomorrow, that... Uh, this big step will be behind us. So I was very proud to see that there are some sides of my children that I didn't know, their resilience especially, and how mature they were towards everything that's happening. So that was a very, uh, very good, good thing to know, and I'm very proud that we discovered that.